Hello everyone, this is Ardent Vital Gamer. Let's play Mission in Space, The Lost Colony on the PC. This is an awesome flash game I tried much to play like, roughly about a decade ago. This game is a mixture of a turn-based strategy with a mix of Among Us with a mix of aliens in outer space. It's kind of a unique game. You want to give, you to give it a try. Get pick a character. Say I'm going to play my middle male, Lieutenant Ellis, Elias. <clears throat> the mining colony on NC-721 hasn't shown any signs of life for about six weeks. Troopers have been sent to investigate. They are currently looking for the logs of the science officer of the colony. Mining colony, space, no sign of life. What does that remind you of in terms of movies? Let's start then. There's me, Lieutenant Elias. I'm the guy on the heads on the stock.com talking to Trooper Taylor. Go through and download, okay? So Trooper Taylor has 6 ability points, 4 MPs, and looks like 60 bullets in his gun. What if it's in the green, you can move. Oh, MP is movement point situation, my bad. Have 100 pit points, 6 is action points. Can't do anything, so end my turn. Collect data, so it's 1 action point. There's Trooper Taylor. Says there's one section here. Movement, let's investigate. Ooh, that's an alien. And it's eating a human. Okay, we have to kill it, so now we have to fight it. As you can see, there's aliens in the space colony. He tried to use 10 bullets. Wow, 10 bullets to kill an that's a lot. I killed it. But since as you can see, there's so much life signs. Obviously, you can't fight it, so our objective is to help Trooper. Taylor, get out here for the first mission. And leave. See? First mission, done. If you get points, you get points, points, points. No damage. Then kill. I got a diamond award for a clean, clean mission. 35 EXP because I didn't lose anybody. I didn't take any damage. So I took three turns. And then... Basically, now this is like in between levels, you get upgrade points which you can put into your troops. As you can see, we have multiple different operatives as you progress a specialist, a sergeant, a medic, and a techie. Complete mission four to up the skills, yeah. Passive one, one plus one movement point because for scout, sprint can pay three, it's been moved two more times. Self control means less likely to crap yourself when enemies are closed, you get armor upgrade. For your troops, ammo upgrade for your troops, large ammo clip, highlights. Like, this is basically increase your range. Motion detector upgrade. So it depends on your personal preference. Like, yeah, it has an RPG mechanic to it with some replay value. You can even pick other weapons. Like, the Trooper Taylor can get a son of shotgun as well as a backup weapon. But honestly, the best recipe is to avoid getting hit. That's my opinion. So, try not to get hit. We should be fine. But yes, yeah, we got level up still. Level up, we got points to see. I'd rather pretty much gamble on the uh, ammo upgrade, even though slightly not much. So let's save it for now. And depending how you do, will affect what time rating you get there. So the higher you do, the higher time you want. The highest is diamond, of course. Next mission, copper. Together, you must do. Normal mode victory, 8 turns or less, 120 damage taken less, 1 left behind less. Say to go rescue a guy named Farona who's a weapon specialist. Let's go. Now watch out, looking aliens. Ventilation grid means, hello, they can travel through grids. He's chopping the airlock, okay. And he seems like he's stuck in this danger on the other side, so. Now you get to do new ability. Switch to alert status on the next turn, but hey, it's like Overwatch. Every alien moving up to five hexagons away. So let's go to Overwatch for Faro. Now let's get Taylor over to rescue Faro. He's on Overwatch. Boom! He shot the alien. He shoot the other alien. Shoot the other alien and move. See, he shoots it again. Stay in Overwatch mode. You can stay calm permanently for a long period if needed. There's the door. Of course, like I said, penalty and speed, but who cares? Safety first.
Overwatch Go. Shoot the alien, continue. Shoot that alien and turn. Okay, and we have in, the, in that situation yet, if I'm standing next to the alien hypothetically and then I try to escape, it will cause a trigger where basically you have a chance to you make it hit. Reload. So you have to keep that in mind when you play this, you have to be careful. Ooh, got an EXP badge. Let's go. Get to the elevator. Close the elevator door. So we save Faro. And mission accomplished, as you can see. Pretty straightforward. Seven turns. 29 points here. Accomplished copper level. Let me lock options. Let's see. Oh man, I need to spend four points first. My bad, I misread it. Only seven minutes to have two ounces to three. It's alert. Plus 16, plus six percent accuracy. Spend point there. This will increase all my troops. Let's see. Hmm. A shotgun, war cry. Light range. Plus six accuracy on that. Plus he used five ammo instead of ten. That's his passive. Next mission. Call Perkle find Sergeant Wood. Repeat. Because you can pick up ammo now as well. The number next to it tells you how many clips you have left. Pick up some ammo you want, then go to this freight elder. Since they're both low on ammo, it's best to get them the ammo. Woods is still packed, good to go. So he's not as worried. Oh jeez, movement. It's like they were saying aliens. Dude, I see something moving and it ain't us. Switch to alert mode. Go there and turn. Boom. See two ammo clips here. Pick up ammo, pick ammo again, shoot the alien, pick up, yeah, it's one AP per ammo clip, as you can see, plus 30% for allies, such, reload, try to stretch move as best you can, and turn. Start off, shoot, reload, shoot the alien again, move down because we need to get moving. And turn. As you can see here, if you have messed up the condition, they'll tell you which one's the next best one left. That will keep risk the chance reduce the chance of Faro getting injured.
Cool. Since uh, the ability points and move points still are not related, you don't have to sweat as much if you have to use it. Activate his cry of focus. That's what's one of the good things. So since they're separate, you could take advantage of the movement to leverage. Cover. Yep. Get inside there. Move Taylor. Close elevator. Objective completed. Everybody is safe. And got another badge plus 20 XP. Which is good because EXP helps you level up in this game. See? I'll go. See, level up. Which gives us more points. Now I can use ammo upgrade. Which will make my guns hit harder. Uh -huh. And as you continue, then yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now we have Sergeant Witch's ability. He has his passive as like, his cries, you see. You increase his war cry range. You can use more points in here to increase the, increase the turn limits. And other passives. Let's go to the next one. Now you need to go find Blake, the medic. You can boost abilities, your teammates, and heal. He's ready, joins us, so he's ready in the action. There are six wounds, I'll show you where they are. And there's ammo, too. This feels like one of the more dramatic levels where you have to defend by sealing doors. Let's go to Overwatch. Lake. Go help Taylor out. Yes, you two will go seal that door. Blake, you stay here and provide healing support if needed. And this ability will boost their AP for that turn. But we're not really fighting at the moment, so I'm not going to bother. And turn. And of course, the jogger says you have to seal the door. See, close that door. This will reduce the magnitude where the aliens could go. Take that out. Turn. There's no two doors there, two doors there. Use her sprint ability so she can move faster and help out. Shoot that alien as you can see the hit points there. Go. Oh, what? Why didn't you hit him? Okay, maybe because of the range of fire, I'm guessing. And since the alien is next to him, you can affect under pressure. So depending on the trigger discipline of your character, it could make them, what's the word? Panic.
Cool. Oh, jeez. Hey, he hit him. Oh, crap. It is bad because I can't seal the door. By him. Reload. Let me move this guy over. Taylor, can I seal the door now? Dang it, I can't. And turn. Ah, oh, crap. And Woods died. That was a bad judgment call on my part. Close that door. Close this door. Since he's Blake's trapped in the way, I'm just moving him back. As we seal those doors up, the aliens will have to go to a different choke point. That's where the strategy comes into play. We can move everybody else. I can't do much right now, so I'm playing far there. Oh crap. Yeah, you can see those aliens hit pretty hard. Two hits and he killed Woods. So it tells you these aliens are no joke. And that's as you can see when Blake died, he dropped his magazine. So in a way, it can get a little it'd be a little convenient for you because you can grab the ammo now. Crap. As you move, there's a turn chance you may get hit. Seal the door and donezo. See? Mission accomplished. Get a new badge. The decency of this is that at least all your characters carry over. It just hurts, but at least you can carry them over so you won't get penalized. So it's like one of those games where you lose people as you progress, you can't replace them. So you don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that's the game. Like, this is a nutshell of what you experience in playing. Mission Space is Mission Space the Lost Colony. So you have a chance to give it a try. There's multiple levels here as you can see. And yeah, complete this and bingo! You managed to save space from a bunch of aliens. Have fun. So you have a chance, like I said, give this a try. It's a unique game. It's pretty neat and cool overall.